What's going on guys? It's me Fred Angel and we are here with another walkthrough and you might not actually notice this. This is actually Hearthstone. And if you don't know what Hearthstone is, well, I'm about to tell you, but first, um, I've been in the Hearthstone beta for about, uh, about two months now, um, and I don't know why I haven't made any videos on it. I just haven't, so I apologize, but now we're to it. But yeah, if you don't know what Hearthstone is, it's basically a new Blizzard game, it's basically a card, a, um, a card, a trading card game. For only the computer. There's no pack. You can't go out there and play it, you know, buy some packs. It's all digital, which is nice. And, um, but yeah, I'm a real Magic the Gathering, or a big Magic the Gathering fan. Um, but I will admit that this game does, it's, it makes trading card games a lot easier. That's what Blizzard is known for. They, 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 they take games and they make it easier. Like, they take the genres and they make them better and easier, and everybody wants to play them, and Hearthstone is amazing! So, um, this first video is just gonna be me explaining everything. Um, if you wanna watch gameplay, it's probably gonna be the second video, but for the first video, I'm just going to explain these, um, basically everything. We're gonna go in-depth. So, by, you know, if you don't have it, whenever you do get it, you're ready to freaking play. So we'll go left to right. First, you got the store, alright? This is a pay-to-play game. It's basically pay-to-win. Um, you can get packs from by by gold, but you're better off buying it. Um, if you are going to buy it, get this game, you're basically going to have to spend money eventually if you want to, you know, get the good cards. So the store is basically where you buy your packs. You can buy one, two, seven, fifteen, or forty. Forty for fifty dollars. I'm sure you. Phew, by that time, you don't even need to buy them. You just need $50, boom. Um, there have been... People have spent crazy amounts of money on this game. Um, I've spent, I think, about $10. I didn't really buy... I only bought the, like, the 7-pack, I think. Um, I really, haven't really spent that much. But yeah, if you get 100 gold, which I'll explain later, then you can buy one pack for free. So, um, Then you get your quest log, and like anything else um, on World of Warcraft, like you get your dailies. Um, down here are your three dailies. You can have three a day. They're like challenges. So mine for day are like Druid or Hunter hunter Victory, Paladin or Warrior Victory, and blah blah blah. And you get gold for doing those. So you got 40 gold, blah blah blah. And that all stacks up. There's like, I don't think there's a limit on how much gold you can have at once, but it's better off just spinning it right off the bat. Um, you got your play mode wins. This is, um, right here is your public match. Ranking. I haven't really played this game that much because they're basically like going to reset all of your cards. Like if you got any good cards, whenever the game gets fully, <coughs> oh sorry, whenever the get game gets fully released, they're going to take away everybody's cards, but they're going to give you enough. They're going to give you gold back so you can buy the same amount of packs that you bought before. It's just you're not going to have the same cards. You might not even get any of the cards you had before. And then you got your arena ranking, which arena is like the, like the the competitive, like the MLG ladder type thing, whereas play mode is just, you know, the public ladder. And then you got your hero levels. There's, there's what, 10? Oh, wait. How much is that? There's nine? There's nine decks, each based off the of World of Warcraft. You got your mage, shaman, druid, um, paladin, warlock, hunter, warrior, rogue, and priest. And it sees your total level 91. I don't know if there's a max level for decks. Um... It doesn't really say, and I've seen people like be at level. F I've seen like people at level 40, so I don't really know what the max level is, and I don't know if there is one. Um, and then you get your open packs. This is where you go to open your packs. I don't really have any, but it, so it's kind of lagging over here. Yeah, see, I don't have anybody. If you did, you'd come here to open your packs, um, and we don't want to go there yet. Um, and then you got your collection. Now this is where you edit your decks. It's it's not like Magic the Gathering downloadable game, like the online Magic the Gathering game that you can get off like Steam or Xbox Live or PSN, where it basically makes pre-made decks for you. This game you can literally make your own just like any other game. You can have a total of nine customizable decks. They can they don't have to be one of each class. You can make like two different hunter decks, but I make one of each. Um, so here we'll go in depth. We'll we will I don't really play my mage that much, so we will, um, 
we will take away all of my mage cards. I forgot how to freaking do this. Oh yeah, you just take away, take away all those cards. Blah 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 blah. All right. So you unlock your packs, you get your unique cards or whatever, um, and then you come into here and you make your, you make your deck. So. Each class has their own unique cards, like Mage has mirrors, image, and stuff, and those, those are only for Mage. And then you've got the neutral cards, where these, and all, all the decks can use them. And as you can see, I don't really have many unique cards. I do have, like, a couple. I have, like, this Golden Dread Corsair, which is um, not much, not that good. Um, unless you're, like, a warrior, I guess. Um, so, yeah, all of, if it says neutral... These can be used by any, and uh, neutral is mainly what you're going to use anyways. Um, so, you can have a max of 30 cards. You actually have to have 30. You can't have less or more. It has to be exactly 30. Um, and you can have as many copies as you have in your deck. It says deck limit 2, but I think that's just because I have only two of those cards. Because um, I've seen people with, like, four of a card in a deck, so I think it all just matters on what you um, get for what you get out of your decks. And sorry, I'm making a deck here, um, and I'll explain all the mana stuff whenever we're we're in in, in a game. So right now, I'm not really not really paying attention, and I'm making a deck, and I'll explain this all. So I'll explain it right now. So there's three types of... Wait, yeah. What? Three types of cards? We'll just go through them. Um, there's your spell cards, which... Spell card... There's no neutral spell cards. The spell cards are only for your character. Um, like here, Arcane Missiles is a... If it doesn't have... Let's see. Let's go to neutral. Like, if it doesn't have that sword and that little... That, like, the, the yellow and the red down at the corners, then it isn't... Um, it's a spell card, so... Like this one, deal three damage randomly split among enemies. They each have different effects. They're not usually the same. Um, some of them are, the, like, pretty much the same thing. They're just for... It's hard to explain this game. There's, like, so much in this game, it's hard to explain it all, and I'm trying to, like, force it all in really quick so I don't bore people. But it's a long game, and there's a lot of stuff in it. Um, so... There's the spell cards like these. There's the secret cards, which are pretty much spell cards, but they activate a secret that goes in your character that it's kind of like, it's basically like a trap card of Yu-Gi-Oh. If you've ever played Yu-Gi-Oh, it's a trap card. Um, you activate it, it's on you, and whatever the effect, with, effect is, it stays in the game until the other player activates it. So, like, so let's say you activate a secret card that says, like, hey, if you, if the enemy attacks you, do two damage to that person. The enemy attacks you, does two damage to that, to the person that attacked you. Or character, or, yeah. Um, and then there are the monsters, and this is the main part of the game. There's a bunch of different types of monsters. I will explain them all as we go. I will, I'll, I'll explain all of this better whenever we're actually in a game. It's, I'm trying to, like, do everything on the menu, on the menu, on the main menu, um, really fast so we can get into a game straight up. Um, there's the... So there's a bunch of different cards, and um, I'm just going to start... I don't know where to start. There's, like, so much to say about monsters. Okay, so at the top left, you see that blue little crystal. That is your mana. Now, each game... You know what? I'll just... I'll, I'll explain this whenever we get in the actual game. Um... I don't really have much of a deck. I'm kind of creating a random one here. Um, I probably shouldn't have did this while I was in... ...thing. This deck's gonna be terrible now. Oh god. This is gonna be, the, like, the worst deck freaking ever. <laughs> oh my god. This is gonna be the worst deck I've ever seen. Man, this is a terrible video for people. There we go. And I'm trying to make one more. Let's see. Let's go with that. Actually, I need, now I need one more. Um, I'm gonna try Twilight Drake. Okay, so I'll, I'll explain all the monsters things whenever we get into a um, get into a game, because it's easier to explain there. Okay, so the, 
after you get done making your deck, um, and you can get your cards. Now, there's something called crafting mode, which is pretty cool. Um, I'll show you how it works. Um, hang on. A so, think of it as the in-game trading. Now, you can't trade cards with your friends, and they can't give you cards. Um, but there, if you think about this, it kind of like is like training. So, you open your packs. Let's say you get like a tenth freaking like cone of cold, and you're just like, okay, I've had enough of these. I only need like two of them. You can destroy those other eight. You click on it. You can disenchant it and turn it into something called arcane dust. Now... So you destroy, like, let's see, eight of them, eight times five is like, oh god, I suck at math, why would I do this on video? I don't know, it's like 40. So you'd get 40 arcane dust to, um, for destroying those eight cone of colds if you had that many. And then you, you put your arcane dust over there, as you can see, I have 40. And you stack up in your arcane dust, and what you do, let's say you find a card that had, like, you really like. Let's say you like... I don't know, you like, uh, Ragnaros. You want, you want Ragnaros, but you can't ever get it in a pack. You're just like, God dang it! I can't freaking, I bought like $300 worth of cards and I can't find Ragnaros! Well, you can actually make any of the cards in the game. You just have to have enough Arcane Dust. As you can see, it costs 1600 aka 1600 Arcane Dust, to make Ragnaros. So, you're going to be after the disenchanting a lot of cards. Um, but if, let's say if you had a double Ragnaros. Seeing as how you don't want two Ragnaroses in your deck, that'd be terrible. Because the bigger the bigger cards might sound cool on paper, having like a whole bunch of deck of big cards, but you would just get completely destroyed in this game. Um, you go to 400. You go to 400. You, you can disenchant your second Ragnaros for 400 Arcane Dust, and then you can spend an Ar Arcane Dust on anything you want. So it's kind of like the trading. You basically get rid of one of your cards to make to get a different card, kind of. Except you have to get rid of a lot more cards to get a better card, which it kind of is. See, it's like it's like trading. Like you know, Yu-Gi-Oh. You got your friend had a legendary card that you can't even use if you actually played the rules legit. You're just like here, have like five of my cards. Boom. You get a you get one card, he gets five cards. Boom. So if you think about it, it's it's basically like the trading. So yeah. So that's about it with the crafting mode. You can do whatever you want. Over here is where you have your gold. You have to have a hundred to buy a pack, but I recommend not buying a pack whenever you get a hundred gold, and I will tell you why right now. There's something called the arena. I can't do it now, I don't think. Yeah. Uh, the arena is basically it. You don't use your pre-made decks, you basically choose a hero, and then it gives you, I think, like, three cards to choose from. And it's basically a random deck thing, and you have to basically kind of remember what cards you picked. It's, uh, it's really confusing. Well, I'll play it to under, to show you guys. But the reason I said don't spend your 100 gold to buy a pack is if, is if you save up to 150 gold, you can get into the arena. Not only will you get your free pack, you always get a pack whether you lose all three of your games or not. Um, but you'll get Arcane Dust, you'll get gold, and you'll get other things, like the better you do. So, not only will you get your pack that you wanted anyways, but you'll get extra things. So I say always save up for 50 more gold and do an arena. It's always better. Um, or you could pay $2 to do in. Uh, to get in. And the thing about Arena, though, is if you lose three times, you could play as much as you want, but as soon as you lose three times, you get kicked out, and you either have to pay 150 gold again, or you have to pay $2. It's basically like a pay-to-win thing as well. And whenever I say, like, random cards and you have to choose your own cards, you'll understand whenever we play that. Next is Practice. This is where you play the AI, um... You can basically, you know, practice your AI moves right there, basically. And then there's play mode. This is probably where you're going to spend most of your time. You basically can either play ranked. There's two modes. There's, um, there's ranked mode, and then there's unranked mode. Unranked mode is, there's nothing, there's, like, no downside to playing that. And then ranked mode, you, like, the more you win, like, the higher rank you go, and etc., etc. You know, lose, you get down a rank. It's kind of, so it's basically like a ranking system. Usually, I think people are going to play unranked the most. 
Um, but ranking is not that bad. So, um, I think that's about the basics. And, um, so we'll go ahead and bat, go into practice, and I will, uh, try to explain it there. I know it's I'm confusing you guys by trying to talk fast, but it's way easier to explain this game in-game than at the menu, so...